In this video, we'll be looking at some extra examples for section 4.6. And we're going to do some examples um, where we have to find the slope, and then we'll be able to plug in. So let's do one where it's graphically, and then let's do one where we have to solve. Okay, so we want to find the equation of the parallel line that is parallel to my black line and passes through the purple. So first thing we want to do is identify the slope of our given line. So that's the line that's given to us. So the first thing we'll do is find identify the slope. Well, I can either look at the equation or I can count. 1, 2, 3 over 1 is 1. So 1, find the slope of the given line. And I can see from the equation it's 3, and then I could count and see that it's 3. So I know m equals 3. Okay, so now we have our x1 and our y1. So we're able to plug into our equation. We're plugging into that point slope formula. So let's write that again. Y minus Y1 equals M parentheses X minus X1. That's our point slope formula. Okay, so now it's time to plug everything in. Plug into point slope. So I'm going to go y minus my y1, so y minus y1 is 1, is equal to my m. I'm just plugging into this formula right over here on the left. So y minus y1 is equal to m, which is 3, times x minus negative 2, and then when we clean that up, we get y minus 1 equals 3 times x plus 2. The minus and minus becomes a plus. And then our last step will be solve for y. So we'll go y minus 1 equals 3x plus 2. And my goal is to get the y all by itself. So first thing we do is distribute. And then we'll add one to both sides, like so. And we're done. OK, so that's how we can find the equation of a parallel line given a picture of one. Now say we're given an equation. So let's say we have 3x plus 4y equals 12. First one, we need to find the slope. This one's going to take a little math to find the slope. So to find the slope, we need to 
get y by itself so we can see the number that's next to x. So let's do that. So the first thing we'll do is subtract 3x from both sides. And now I have 4y equals negative 3x plus 12. And then we'll divide each by 4. So uh, we, we had to solve for y to find our slope, and then we're going to write an equation of a line that's passing through this point to negative 1. Okay, so do we have the slope now? Well, we do, because we solve for y, so we see the slope is right next to x. So we have m equals negative 3 fourths. Now we're going to do our step 2. We're going to plug it into our point slope formula. So step 2, we're going to plug in. So I'm going to go y minus my y1 is negative 1 is equal to my m, negative 3 fourths, times x minus 4. Let's clean up. Like so. Okay, and now the last thing we do is solve for y. So I'll have y plus 1 equals negative 3 fourths x, just distributing, plus, okay, so now we've got to do negative 3 fourths times negative 4, so let's look at that, negative 3 fourths times negative 4, we'll do this, I'll put this over 1, so I get positive 12 over 4, negative 3 times negative 4 is 12, 4 times 1 is 4, and then that becomes positive 3. So I have y plus 1 equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3. Just doing that distributed. Negative 3 fourths times negative 4 is a positive 3. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides, and we're done. So what we had to do first is we had our equation that was given to us. So this was given, and then our point that was given right here, that was given. So first we had to solve for y to find the slope. Let's make a note of that. We had to solve for y to find the slope. So that's the first thing we did. We had to find the slope. So do that. We had to get this equation all by itself. Get the y by itself. And then we saw, oh, that number next to the x is my slope, negative 3 over 4. Then we had to plug into our point slope formula, y minus y1. There's my y1 up here. Is equal to negative 3 fourths, my m, times x minus x1 right here. And then our last thing to do was simplify, solving for y, so we distributed and then went through our motions, and we found the answer. So there's a couple of extra examples on how we're going to um, find the equations for parallel lines. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.